Hey guys, thank you very much for joining today. Uh, it's Sunday, uh, September the 19th. Um, and first I always want to give a, a really big thank you to all of you that are that are new here and, and have joined. Um, I know last Sunday I started the day at 31 subscribers. Um, and last I checked today I was around 1,075, um, which is uh, amazing. Uh, definitely not something I expected um, uh, at all. So a big, big thank you to you guys, and especially Cincinnati Picker, for, for giving that shout out uh, that you did last week. Really do appreciate that. That was super, super awesome. Uh, so today, um, I've got 10 things that I need to uh, get packed up, get ready for to be shipped out tomorrow morning before I get back to my normal nine to five. So been watching a little bit of football today, kind of taking it easy a little bit. Uh, I've been doing some listing and whatnot. Had a had a lot of stuff, so uh, a lot of good work. A lot of good work to do. Um, so let's go ahead and start here. This first up, we've got this is a Hawkins three liter little mini pressure cooker. Uh, I actually bought this at the uh, one of the one twenty seven yard sales. Um, so I've had this one for a little while. Uh, paid a dollar for it. Uh, sold for I believe it was sixteen ninety plus shipping. So not too shabby there. Uh, let's see, this item here, actually this is my first viewer purchase. Uh, I've got this Yingli Malstein CD that I paid $2 for at the Goodwill. Uh, this is going out to Picker's Sale. Um, that is his eBay store, Picker's Sale. Uh, he's got a lot of cool stuff out there. Um, so thank you very much for the business, I really do appreciate it. Let's see here, um, we've got Jim Sourwine's Inside Approach. Uh, this was a pretty recent purchase. Um, this is a thrift store purchase, and I'm blanking on exactly how much I paid. I want to say it was three, maybe it was five. I can't remember exactly. I'll have to go back and watch the tapes to see exactly what that was. Um, but oh, got the sale price up there for you. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but the picture will tell you what it was. <laughs> Let's see, what else we have here? Uh, this is one... This is one that my, my wife actually found this uh, a couple weeks back. This is just a uh, old tape deck, and I can't remember exactly the model. It looks like it's a Ford, this may have been for like a Ford F-150, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, but I think we paid $5 for this a while back, and this uh, just sold for 28 This is another one I've had for a while. Um, this Leroy 2 lettering kit. Um, I think I paid two dollars for this. This looked really cool. Let's see if I can open it again. Um, this looked really cool and old. It just has just something you don't typically see. Uh, I don't know exactly what it's used for. I'm sure a lot of you guys out there probably do know. Uh, I thought this was really really cool. Um, had it for a long time, so eventually took the offer uh, that they gave on this one. And now I can't close it. see here. All right, uh, here we've got the Hanks Craft uh, Cool Humidifier Vaporizer here. Um, paid five dollars for this one a few weeks back and um, took an offer for this one. Uh, just pretty good little sale there. Uh, next we have a good old Step 2 Garden Hopper. Um, that I did pay 15 for, uh, could not talk her down, um, and I did go ahead, this one sold pretty quickly, um, I did go ahead and take an offer of 55 on this one, so pretty excited about that one. I think, uh, maybe a week or so back I bought these, uh, four containers here, these, uh, Hornsias, really, really nice condition containers here, I paid five, um, for, for the entire set there, and I took an offer of 40 for all of these. So the one thing, that I will mention if you're going to ship something like this, um, you gotta have the right size box and you want to make, obviously make sure that these are packed very, very well. Um, you wanna have enough space, like obviously you don't want too much space if they're rattling around, but you also don't want it so tight that they squeeze against each other and eventually, eventually break. I actually think what I'm gonna do for these, since I, I have so many other smallest boxes, I'm gonna individually box these up uh, as I wrap them and then put them in one larger box. So they'll be individually boxed within 
the larger box and uh, hopefully that will allow them to arrive safely. Um, that is one thing you do need to think of when you are reselling, especially if you are, are new to it. Um, so you might see an item like this and see, okay, yeah, there's profit there, but you do have to think about how much work it's going to actually take to get it there safely and make sure that that's something that you are, um, you know, you want to put the time and effort into doing. So that's a, another little piece of something to, to really think about with some of these types of items. All right, up next, I've had this one for a little while. This uh, nice little equestrian helmet. Um, didn't sell for as much as I was hoping for, but um, I paid $5 for it. Um, still not, a, you know, not a not a bad flip at all. Um, really nice little, really nice little condition. Should be pretty easy to ship. Much easier than the uh, than the canisters, that's for sure. And I think last but not least, we've got the first of um, the first of the records that I purchased. Uh, we've got War: The World Is a Ghetto. Um, again, all the records were two bucks a piece. Uh, this one sold for ten. So hopefully, you'll be seeing a whole lot more of these. Um, coming up here soon. And uh, Aunt Mel, if you're watching, I know you're asking, do I like to buy records like John does? The answer is yes, if I can find them at the right price and the right condition. So you're gonna see a lot more of these. All right, I think that's it for this video. I've got a lot of uh, packing up to get done here and I wanna watch some more football. So until next time, guys, stay curious.